takes tremendous discipline, takes a minute, tremendous courage to think for yourself, to examine yourself. That Socratic imperative of examining yourself requires courage. You know, William Butler Yeats used to say, it takes more courage to examine the dark corners of your own soul than it does for a soldier to fight on the battlefield. Part of our daily perception of reality is that this disappears from our world. Anxiety is the mood par excellence of of, of ethnicity, I think. Socrates ended up uh, uh, having been forced to drink the hemlock because he was accused of corrupting the morals of the youth. Now, fortunately, that doesn't happen to philosophers today. It's not like there's an, an ideal morphology. You know, what a body should look like. It's exactly not that question. Nature is a big series of unimaginable catastrophes. I have no idea what it would mean to make revolution in the US. He says, it's easy. You go to the mountains, you start an armed cell, you make revolution. Nico talks about it in terms of being a corpse. See, Heidegger doesn't talk about corpses. He talks about death. It's still too abstract. We all know in what danger we all are global warming, possibility of other ecological catastrophes, and so on and so on. But why don't we do anything about it? Well, see, that's history. That's the raw, funky, stanky stuff of life. That's what bluesmen do. See, that's what jazzmen do. See, I'm a bluesman in the life of the mind. I'm a jazzman in the world of ideas.